good every yeah, fucking dude. time nothing has changed in a week since we've done a show except two documentaries have dropped uh one of them is uh i don't know quite depressing i would seem like uh, at least Vito was talking about it on mlc yesterday or at least he tried to for as long as possible right stancil yeah the porcelain uh <laughs> kevin brennan doc <laughs> yeah did you watch the whole thing uh i did i Me did too. i thought it, uh do you want to go first I mean, you you go ahead. You go ahead. No, I thought it was, I don't know. I honestly was neither here nor there. I mean, nothing I didn't know. And so, but I mean, <laughs> I'm me. So I know every, you know, every right. MLC universe were bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, no, I thought it was good. I thought it was well done. Like you could tell it was lower budget, but he did what he, what he could. And I know he's made other ones. So I'm not, it's not throwing shade or anything. Right. Um, the but one point, I, the one point, no one's brought up that I will is whoever made it spent a lot of time on the compound media section of it. So it has to be a compound fan somewhere because they kind of skipped over the early days. Like every everything that happened before compound was like done in fifteen minutes, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. once Kevin got to compound, they spent like a good a while on that. It seemed like you know, and, and like reiterating every point and like bringing up old burning bridges shows. So it was like, all right, you know, this is probably a newer fan, I guess. I don't know. Well, I, that guy Porcelain is a is an actual guy. I, yeah. He's not like just uh, whatever. He just makes it. Because who are the other ones he's done? Um, God, I don't know. I don't remember anything. But anyway. I, I'd never uh, heard of him. I thought his name was funny. Typing yeah, he's Porcelain other on ones, YouTube. And like Kevin was saying, they're mostly, I just saw clips, but they're mostly like throwing. Like how Kevin's was, like making fun of him, but at the same time being unbiased but trying to be funny so right. at the end of the day i thought it was i thought it was fine it didn't blow me away but it was it had it was funny it was, it was on, like i tweeted it was a, a trip down memory lane for me so it was yeah fun. yeah it was you know I, i'll be honest with you i've never gone back and listened Vito to, hated it uh yeah speaking of Vito, he's in the waiting room about to bring him in to get his oh, take get. uh on what happened uh monday so Jackie's uh, here by the way yeah, Juggy is here. <laughs> By the way, on the show, I hey. asked I asked Stancil this morning because uh, this morning I got the first chance to listen to the latest Sports Mask Collective, and uh, some of Juggy's brownout points were making me hysterically laugh, and I was like, I have to get him on to ask him about that. So we'll do that later in the show. No uh, problem talking first, about my alcoholism. That's perfect. <laughs> it was funny whenever you said, Victor, you're about to brown out now just because with shoes oh, on. Oh, man. I just, I really think that sometimes off camera, he takes one of those pills. He's like, this is what you need. I'm like, maybe he's got like pain or something, but he, his head goes off camera and then he takes a few more shots than he should. I enjoy it. I'm not even knocking it at all. I think his I head goes right into a pile of like, powder. That's why it goes off camera. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I got a, we got our own white Stevie Wonder on there. It's awesome. I love how he just said he was taking a break from gambling too. And then he hops on sports mask and he's in a, of course, a suite again. He must have got a nice pay raise. Yeah. Shout out to, Shout out to Victor. Yeah, right? shout, well. out, shout out to our friend Ashley Marie Thornton, I hear, has been giving him, giving him great luck. Ashley, keep texting him. I say that because uh, she totally mushed him the whole last weekend, he told me. <laughs> oh, but, uh, wow. Totally. I think she he cost, she costed him $4,000 this weekend, he said. Damn. Well, speaking of Ashley, she but had messaged me to come on the show tonight. But uh, as you know, we do have a packed uh, house tonight. Vito, welcome to the show. Listen, uh, I don't know... I, I don't know if as many people have talked good about a guest as, uh, you know, the latest Patreon comments seem to be all in favor of you. However, you did get thrown he off at of MLC. He beat Chad in a poll today, and he only lost to Cheesesteak. Wow. It's, it's, it's Gilligan. Oh, are you being Gilligan now? Are you, are you stealing Chad's shtick? Oh, fuck that. I would never steal that fucking cock liquor stick. You know what I love about this, Vito? I could see you in the waiting room for 10 minutes before you joined. Yeah, and holding you, that fucking stupid hat. Yeah. yeah, you were wearing the hat the whole time until you got on. Did you get embarrassed by the hat? 
yeah, I'm sitting there going, uh, can anybody hear me? Can anybody, anything? And Jim's like, you know, he's cracking joke. There he goes. He grabs yes. it. <laughs> right. So you Come knew on. you were going to get defeated if you came on with the Gilligan's hat because, as you know, the uh, the Commodore here, you know. Admiral he is here. Seconds. I'm the Admiral. I, I run all Ooh, the ships. Admiral? I got to go get my Pirate's hat. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. The, uh, the Admiral will shut that down. Let's just try on hats for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, any more hats? Yeah. My thing. Thanks for having me on, guys. Nice meeting you. Uh, Thanks, Davido. Uh, Thank you. That's uh, awesome. Uh, Juggy Ski Mask. I've, I've interviewed you, and I've interviewed Jim. Um, uh, I, uh, the big joke was who. Anyways, do you want me to start from the beginning? What's and the when beginning you get to, to the you? End, when you get to well, the end, stop. 1970, and then June 15th, I came out, and then uh, head first. I heard. No, Jim. Come on. I want this to be a clean show. So, anyways, when I went on the show, he asked, like, what Kevin, shows that? The MLC, like oh. uh, Kevin's show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just said, Kevin just messaged me and goes, "Hey, would you uh, like?" I go, "I didn't like the the documentary, and there's nothing against the the guy who made it. I think he he actually followed me. He was very nice, uh, um, but." The reason why I didn't like the documentary, it was just way too kind of making fun of, I felt like his career where it's, it was like, hey man, he's been on Conan O'Brien, Letter, right, right. I could go on and on, right? But Which was the point you were making on Kevin's show, and, and, and to that extent, that, that's what Porcelain does, is kind of highlight and, and make fun of, uh, especially some of those O and A guys' careers, right? And then I saw an interview today where him and Porcelain were were talking. It was a nice interview, and 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 yeah. So my thing was, I thought it was you know at the very end he he said something about um, so this is the state of comedy, what it used to be, and then my thing was with Kevin what that I remember he did an interview with Artie Lang. And Artie Lang said to him, why do you keep doing this? Like, why do you keep going out there? And Kevin said something really, it was really cool. He said something because I still want to see if I still have it, mm -hmm. you know? And I just thought I was so human, you know? Right. So anyways, that's why, like, I, could, I understand why he did the documentary and why he does the documentaries that way. But I wanted it to... I don't know, a happy ending, I guess. But, you know, there is no... Well, it's, Kevin, it's Kevin Brennan, Vito. Yeah, there's well, never going to be a happy... The happy ever. the happy ending is he just gets I, angrier. Yeah. That's the happy he ending. He'll be happy when he kills himself live on his show. That's right. what, I, I say that Ken, with love. He'll, he's going to love that. That's, like, he, he likes it when I make him angry. So I wasn't giving him any, like, I was laughing when he was yelling because he was like a force anger, you know? So, yeah, so who did you have a problem with on that show? Because Kevin was just being Kevin. Well, and well, yeah, Kevin was being Kevin. But when Chad came on, it was just me and Chad. And I said to him, I go, hey, is everything cool with us? Because we, we were. This is before you went on the before. Yeah, you started. This is before we went on. And he said, Inside yeah, baseball. yeah, everything's fine. And I go, OK, you sure? And yeah, everything's fine. And then all of a sudden. Uh, uh, Florentine shows up, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" Now I'm a huge like I, I you know, Jim Florentine is uh, a, an amazing guy, very funny, but he's very good friends with Chad, right? Like he saw so like, Saturday in Costco, great show. Shout out, yeah. Super Show Comedy. Shout out, yeah, me. So he, anyway, he, sorry. He, he's a very talented guy, and he did the right thing by having Chad as his opening act. So you always pick a shitty. Uh, act <laughs> to open up for you so then that way when you come on they're fucking they're happy right you know, so you're saying what jim you're saying jim florentine is uh very calculated in who he picks oh, exactly. uh, to like, open up for him. you know what now nah, he's still a talented guy but it, it it was like it was it turned into instead of talking about the documentary his okay what happened was the sound went out a couple times when he said bill burr I, it went out and I, like, it skipped for a second. I thought he meant uh, Bill, uh, uh, like, Berg. You know what I mean? Like, no. Like, the big guy. 
uh, Aaron uh, Berg. Aaron Berg. That's why I thought said because, Bill Berg. But yeah, said Bill but, Berg. Yeah, but, but then, but then, right after they asked that, they they repeated his name, and and you still said that you yeah, didn't but I was, see that I was, part. I was I was like in panic mode, dude. Oh. like I was like I was just like, what the fuck? I've got two guys that are fucking after me, and then it just you know, Kevin's like, ah, it was a mistake bringing you on. You know, is there any way we get him off? And right then and there, I knew it was just going to be, you know, shit on me, kind of. You know, it's like, who did you uh, interview? And I'm like, uh, you know, I, like the first person. I'm trying to think of somebody that. I was maybe, kind of upset you didn't say my name because that would have really. Yes, yeah, so I was. Well, I was waiting for you to say my name uh, was, as well. I was like, yeah, I was just thinking, like, okay, like maybe uh, break the ice. They'll laugh about it. Or if I said Lisa Sparks, and they're like, you know, they whatever but i've interviewed when i go uh uh tim long from the simpsons there yeah yeah save the plugs never heard of him so I, I, anyways i've interviewed uh uh a lot of people but right. it just turned into a fucking shit show man so did have you interviewed it chad it was, yet it was great to listen can i just say i'm I obviously will let you keep going Vito. but as a as an OG MLC Burning Bridges fan. That was that was great. And Kevin even said it in our little uh, private thread uh, yesterday. Like, all oh, the fans love you. Um, so well, even I though I know you. you're not happy with it, that's what the MLC is all about is right. the, the friction. And that's why I always say, like, nobody wants to hear, uh, no offense, but nobody wants to hear Craig Kilborn or, like, these mainstream guys because it's just going to be another, yeah. don't say anything interesting. I would rather you, Vito, and fucking... Burt Kreischer on the show like who gives up well yeah I, I, I mean I do have to say anytime those bigger names are on those are the the episodes that I sometimes just can't finish to you your know? honor uh yeah uh yeah. episodes yeah. where where you know guys like Vito or, or Mike Bichetti are on oh my God. Uh, I try to find ways to finish the episode no matter how busy I am yeah that's and, exactly uh, what uh, uh uh Bob uh what's his name bigger that guy yeah the fat yeah. one Fuck you, yeah. Bob. I'm down 14 pounds. He he was like, hey, man, that's how... Because when I talked to him later on, I was like fucking so pissed off at myself. And he was just like, no, minute, that's... You, he goes, that's you, what they do. He goes, that's... he When they bring him on, you know, they you know make fun of his weight, call him fat or right. whatever. So it was just Wait, like... I was just like... There, excuse me, it's it's my show. Um, Well, it's Ski Mask Show. Wait, I was so is is Bob Biggerstaff your mentor? How were you just confiding in Bob Biggerstaff? No, I was supposed to do an interview with him, right? And we're what happened both, to that? Oh, nothing. That been the biggest both, name you said was on he the picking show? up hot sauce in Hartford? No, we we're both sick. So <laughs> what happened was is halfway, like about twenty minutes, and it, from a, on a train picking up hot Bob, sauce. Yeah, Bob, Bob goes, "Hey, do you mind if you know we do this?" Uh, you know, do you mind if we do it? Because I was just flying through it, and I go, yeah, Bob, no problem. Because I had to do Kevin's show in about half hour. So, and Wait, did you already start well. the interview with Bob? And, and then yeah, you... but we did it the next day. We were like, let's just do it the next day. And Bob's a really – he's a he's a really nice guy. All right. He cheats in the eating contest. How long, how long was that interview? <laughs> the one with Bob? Yeah. The first time? Both. Oh, fuck. We did about 15, 20 minutes and it was just a rush job and it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Like it was just. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine you guys sitting down podcasting together. No, it was fun. Like he's, he, like we just talked about stand up. Hot sauce. Some of the craziest stuff he's done Dream. on, on, uh, uh, fuck. I feel yeah. like you're going to take off that mask and it's going to be fucking Chad. No, no, no. I don't oh, even sound like the guy. Wow. Vito, yeah, you are you PTSD. scared of Chad? No, I'm not. Now, now, now look, uh, uh, I thought about the appearance all day. I will have to say, I think it's best that you got out when you did uh, and that Adam kicked you off the show. I think you really got to Chad in, in, in that aspect because, look, uh, you're right. Florentine is friends with Chad. If you would have stuck around, they would have just hammered you the whole time. Yeah, and now, another guy said to me, he goes, uh, Kevin did you a favor by knocking you off. Yeah. He didn't want them to all attack you. I agree. And then you can also see uh, the the reflection in the Patreon comments. People love the appearance, man. They, they want oh, more of really that sweet. shit. I, I, so I appreciate let it. Them, let them keep guessing. Let them uh, keep them wanting more. That's what you got to do. You know man. it was weird? He said something. I, Jim, you watched it, right? Of course. I can't remember if he said. I'm so the admiral. You, 
I can't remember if he said, so you want to be the co-host? Did he say that? Like about me? Like I wanted his job? Yeah. Yeah, because because I think you were interrupting him a couple of times. He couldn't get a word in. No, he, he said something. He said something like, uh, "You want my job? Uh, you want to like fuck with my army?" And I was like, "Hey, Admiral, uh, like what what the fuck are you talking about? Your army?" He's the captain. Say that you did. That's right. Because that uh, rang a bell in my. my yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Weird. And 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 do I think I'd be like a better co-host than him? Fuck, I think anybody would be a better co-host than him. True. You know? I honestly do. So Rack you. Uh, I, I don't know why Kevin has him. You know, I really don't. Nobody does. And I think that's exactly why he has him. Exactly. Bingo. Ski mask. That's why you're the host. Bingo. You just <laughs> hit the nail on the head with a TB3 hand. It was just weird. Now, man. Vito, why do you look like a pedophile in this photo? What's going on? Because I was. Mm -hmm. Actually, I to was. be honest, Vito looks like the least pedophile in that whole group. That's true. Look at what's that. Going, what is going on and what's what's happening in this picture? You look I like you're high on cocaine in, the middle. in Michigan and uh, -huh. uh they were taking pictures and uh then we hung out and Obviously. got to write on a couple shows. It was really cool. That's doing cool. fishing. That's a filthy. Is that a blazer or a jacket? A sick jacket. Yeah. Yeah, that jacket has way, Michigan I mean, written all over it. Bring up pictures from you from fucking Wait a minute. Let me I'm find not, I, Look, I'm I'm not ahead, I'm not right. I'm not tweeting them. I'm not. I'm not putting myself out there in a, in a tweet, Vito. You're you're tweeting them. That's where I'm getting them. I'm not so, just wait, fucking wait, looking right, up. You're right. All right. Let's All right. get back on track, Vito. Did you foresee friction going on that show, or did uh, on MLC? Or did you think it was just going to be like a discussion, or do, or did you kind of expect that? I, I thought that it was going to be a discussion, but I fucked up because as soon as he said, as soon as Florentine showed up, and it just Florentine was there from the beginning. No, he sh he showed up as soon as I saw him show they were up. Talking before the show is what he said. Yeah, uh, yeah it okay. felt like it felt like this is what it felt like. We'll bring Vito on, uh -huh. and then we'll we'll tell him like he sucks, and then we'll kick him off. That's it. That's what it felt like. Oh, Chad okay. definitely had the uh, the loser kid in the group of friends vibe going uh, on that show. You know the kid who's yeah. in the group of yeah, bullies. Yeah, but what I didn't get like is why didn't they kick Chad off? Because he's buddy, he's Kevin's co-host, and he's buddies with Florentine. Yeah. yeah, he'll have his time soon enough. I don't know. Like I heard, like well, I was about to say this, Jim, and I was gonna like explode and just go, "Well, fuck, Chad." I mean, right. you now, would, all right, well, do you you, you take a breath up. and do exactly what you would have what you would have done? Right, I agree. What's that? Take a breath right now, and right. I want you to you're 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 in the business. I want you to do. Do explode exactly as you would have, as you would have on MLC. Be in the moment. And action. Hey, cock licker. Why didn't you have Jim on? Huh? The guy works his fucking ass off for this show for free. And you could have had that kid on. And Chad, you're an insecure little cunt. You, you, you didn't have him on. And the kid deserved to be on. Okay? And wow. that's, that's what I was ready to, like, honestly, I was, Jim. Because... Hey Jim, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that, Jim. He says, don't do that. Yeah, he said, don't do that, Jim. Round of applause. But, Round of applause. It, it's true though, because it was like I remember how it's hard true. you work. You work really hard, uh, and hard. Uh, he, he does, and he doesn't. I thought he 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 was looking Yee hard, hard. and it was works hard. hard. And it was it was to me it was just like I don't understand. Just be a good human. Like that's it's just Chad. pussified. It's just pussified. And if you see today, we can talk about this later too. But if you see today, Eddie Ift is on MLC today, and Chad right. is nowhere to be found. Yes, uh, I don't know any inside info, but just rumors are thing. circulating that but Eddie Ift requested Chad not be on the episode. He yeah, did he not want to be on because Eddie was on? Like, same kind of thing. Like just no, fucking... no, no, no. D did you hear? Uh, it was on the episode with Florentine at the end. Chad was basically. Yeah, he was basically begging Kevin, please, like, it, it, if you're having Eddie F on, I want to be on that show. Like, I want, I haven't talked to Eddie F since Brian. Please let me on that show. And the fact that he wasn't on is hilarious eh, because Kevin didn't be, give a uh, fuck. Over oh, hey, saying that Kevin, so that when he doesn't want to be on, it sounds like he wanted to be on too. Jim, when you messaged me and said that uh, he goes, did Kevin get a hold of you or whatever? No, Kevin didn't because I yeah, thought he, he was. Said, I, well, during the show, he was like. Uh, yeah, he sounded like he was like gonna message you and like see what was up. That's why. Uh, no, he didn't message. Me. It was just. It was just. Uh, 
I don't know. It was it was it was fucking weird, dude. You yeah. know, it was like going. It's it, it's like I could ski mask. I could invite you and four of my buddies on, and we could sit there and just make sit money. on a chair. What's that? You're gonna invite me and four buddies? We're gonna flip but a chair that's, over? That's what it felt like. Oh. Where you were you yeah, sitting? They there. definitely gained up on you. It was a little shitty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was yeah. The show though. I mean, I think you 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 had to know something like that was gonna happen. No, well, I, I thought didn't. you did a. I thought you did a good job giving it back though. I'm glad you didn't cuck out and we're just. Yeah, like, I well, I, I do agree I, with that, that. I think that's why the fans like you because you didn't you gave it back to them. And I wish you went on that stancil ramp because. Uh, no, uh, but they didn't give me a chance. There was just like it was just like you was, had plenty of chances. You were talking the most the whole time you were on. That's what I liked about it. You you were talking every chance you got. I was trying. I know Kevin wants action, so I was trying to fucking give action. But I'm looking at Florentine, and I'm I'm such a big fan of his. I didn't want him to go. Get, wh- wh- who is this fucking guy? Well, he did anyways. He had this. He had this <laughs> yeah. smile on his face sale. where There's it was just ready. like. He had this. He had this smile on his face, and I'm going, "Does he hate me, or does he like like what does Chad tell him?" And then I'm thinking, "Who gives a fuck?" You know, like that's a spirit. Like why? Why am I worried about what what Chad is? I like Florentine. He was a uh, uh, he was actually kind of cracking up at some of the things I was saying, but Chad's just I don't know. He's a man child, man. Yeah, yeah you he's know, a baby. he is. He's a fucking- jug of your thoughts. I, I this is one of those things where I wish I was there to get the full context of it, but it, it's clear to me that people are going to gather and uh, and and gang up behind somebody who stands up and fires back. So sounds like there's a lot of love on on the way to Vito's side, to be quite honest. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's you've had I, two you've had two turnaround appearances on MLC. Uh, you know, most of the time when you make an appearance on that show, it's a long time before you do it again. And what yeah. that's twice this year you've been on. So I, I would expect even a third time after those Patreon comments. No, I, people think, want I, more. Kevin, I don't know. I think Kevin fucking, I think I pissed him off somehow. No, you, he's I not don't think so. He said the fans, he said the next day, uh, the fans that you got brought up in the little side chat and he said the fans love you. And that's, uh, hey, Stanza, look at the screen. Again, there he is. <laughs> there he is. I, my brother in arms. I'm gay too. That's why I think I'm wearing this hat. Yeah, of course. I will send that. And I'm trans. Look at my hair. I'm growing my hair. I'm a woman now. I can say whatever I want. My pussy, my choice. Stancil, I did see a photo of you, Florentine, and Aunt Mead, and uh, you only wanted it up for for however long because you were looking a little dykey. What's going on with that? You're losing weight, but you're turning into a dyke? I don't know what's happening. I'm down 14 pounds as of today, and... uh... I'm just turning into Roseanne. Maybe my estrogen's going through the roof. It's it's water, dude. You're it's all water. You got to get rid of the fat. I've never seen yeah, this man Kevin drink Costner any water. Water world. Fuck all of you. Nobody understands. Water the water world reference. Damn it. Do you have well, thick? Do you have? I'm an thick, admiral. Do you have thick ankles? Ankles. You want to see my calves? Yeah. yeah he's got thick calves. You can put those back on the grill. I can't Let's see them. He's got those Sicilian calves. Holy Jeez. shit. Look, that's a muscle. Yeah. yeah, no shit. You should kick fucking Chaz in the head with one of those. Nah. They look like implants, but they're not. Holy shit, they do look like implants, man. Yeah. Do you work out a lot? What do you think? He used, used to. He yeah. used to be an All-American athlete. All-American athlete. Just went to the gym today. Was at the gym today. Taylor Riley says Stop you have All-American control. calves. We do. Taylor we Riley. Do. Taylor Riley played lacrosse with me. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> Kevin Brennan says, I have thick things. True. It's really Kevin? Things. No, yes. it's not. Yeah, of course it is. Hey, Kevin, are you pissed off? Kevin's, Kevin's got a thick ass. No, he's Kevin's not mad at you. Ass. kidding me? There was, there was 30 Patreon on. comments in, in a couple hours on that show. Why would he be mad about that? It's a fucking great show. David Good, Feldman wasn't happy. Good. Next yeah. time I'll go on, I'll, I'll make sure to... to to them to now look no one said there'd be a next time veto you better calm Hollywood, down over there you know huh? hollywood veto yeah Holly, mr big shot over here you think there's gonna be a next time you're just going on everybody's shows now i'm just hey, gonna you know, I got well, a screen right right that, that is i'm only mad at chad uh see what i mean that's awesome yeah. that yeah. really means a lot that does and i should be your co-host because 
Um, let's pump the brakes. Find, find yeah, let's, put, let's slow down here. This here. isn't the highway. Let's <laughs> slow it down. This is just back roads here, okay? We're just doing a wrap-up of a show. All right? Speaking of wrap-ups, uh, Chad decided to do a review of the Chrissy Mayer documentary. So we're going to review Chad's review. Now, Stancil, your thoughts. I, I gave you a chance to listen to it all 15, 20 minutes of what sounded like you was doing it in a back alley in the middle of a busy city. I was actually driving, and I thought there was fucking trucks blowing past me, and I couldn't see none of them, but it was all the horns coming through the fucking headphones. Yeah. Uh, well, what's, first what's he of all, doing? Uh, first of all, you sent it to me. I was like, Ugh, I'm not going to listen to this. And then I opened it, and it was 15 minutes long and called a podcast. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll fucking listen to this. Yeah. Uh, 13 minutes after all the uh, whatever he was asking for money about. And then, uh, yeah, I, for, I, I can sum it up. It was basically, is he transitioning into Opie? He, was, I, I got I don't know. vibes the whole time. He was just in traffic, and I don't know, man. So so that's what I – and it was just noises. Um, listen, I didn't watch – yeah, I'm in business with Frank. I'm thick as thieves. Um, <laughs> I didn't watch the doc. And listen, yeah, listen to this, Kevin, you piece of shit. Um, yeah, because I didn't watch – like, Chrissy was there. She wasn't – it's not – it, she didn't. She didn't perform it. Saturday night, right? No, she was there though. Um, yeah, because but Fra- Frank, about, put, Frank puts on a tight show. I don't give a fuck about that show. I'm talking about Chad's podcast. Um, yeah, Chrissy was there, but she wasn't inside the fucking Capitol, and who cares if she was? And if she was, she would have been the first person to tell you. So what's the point? That's why I didn't even bother watching it. Like, yeah, right. she, what, 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 what the fuck, you guys? Saw? What, what documentary on Chrissy? What, you, this guy yeah, you missed out. You, you missed out on the news. Didn't watch what are you doing? Documentary? What the fuck, Vito? Okay, I watched it. It was great. It was no, you didn't. You didn't even watch. Ke- you didn't even watch Kevin's it. documentary you because you didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, Bill Burr. I liked it. I liked it. I'm gonna get this fucking guy out shows, of here. Two shows in a week. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Jeez, man. We're just yeah. trying to do our wrap up. Yeah. Even if you don't know what we're talking about, you can at least know like you're going along with, with Kevin. It. Now I agree with Kevin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shut up. I agree, trying I agree to with Kevin. You know, trying to I review agree. a fucking. Excuse me again. This guy, uh, Kevin. You're right. All right. Yeah. Go. go, go. Let's get him the fuck out of here, Stancil. Jesus Christ! This guy's a fucking. Yeah. He's getting. He doesn't even know what we're talking about. He's getting no, right up in the middle yet. of it. Not yet, guys. Not yet. I what? To, I want to hear about not that. Yet. I want to hear. You don't about want to hear about it. Why don't you go watch it? S- s- are you? Are you? Did you even watch the porcelain doc? He doesn't even know I, who I, porcelain I, is. I, I watched it, but who did the Chrissy Mayer one? Misery loves. Misery clips. loves clips. Oh. Which, and I'm not throwing shade here. I thought that was known. That was Joe Exotic. I. Uh... Yeah, I. I did too. I thought that was a thing. And I'm not even just whatever. I'm not saying it here or there. I just thought that was a thing. Um, whatever. But anyway, because Chad just I say that only because Chad was kept saying like nine times. I don't know who it is. Um, but anyway, so I didn't actually watch that. I listened to the podcast. And it was just. Yeah, it was like an OP live stream. It was just rambling and noises. And a and, lot of uh, I thought he was going to be done being out of breath at least 10 minutes in. No, he was <laughs> still out of breath. It looks like he just ran five miles. Um yeah, what did he say? I made, I made a couple notes because I'm a professional. Um, um, it's going over the But I'm not line. good at reading them. Um, yeah, I don't know. He goes, whatever. I mean, we've talked about this before. I don't understand. I still don't really understand. Every time I've seen Chrissy, and I do see her fairly often, she never says a, a single thing about Chad or Kevin. It's all <laughs> yeah. just whatever we're doing and going forward. Like, she doesn't give a fuck. Like, he's, I don't know. Yeah, you know what she's doing? What you have to do in 2021 to keep growing your career. You fucking right. tweet all this shit. You go on every show. You get every guest. If, if you want to keep growing or you could just, uh, you know. Yeah, and she's got she, she's dropping podcast every day with, with new guests. And, and he's recording a That's podcast what, it's outside. That's what you got to do. Like, yeah. It's a different world. Sorry, you can't just fucking. It is what it is. Yeah, look at us. So, we got, we got the amazing Vito. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. One I mean, word or one mean, word or do you have to split it up when you type it in? One word or what? It's 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 two. Oh, thank you. I just got that. Thank you. That's a, a little that's slow not, up north, huh? That's still. That's. that's you have PTSD from this podcast. You, you I do. I yeah. really do. You have I, have you, I, I, I'm scared to fucking say anything. Kevin gave you PTSD. You know? it, it, he honestly did. He 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 got me all fucking. 
Chrissy sucks. I didn't say that. That was who the fuck would say something so stupid? Oh no, it's never mind. <laughs> ah, you're burning bridges now. <laughs> that was absolute perfect timing. There you go. Oh, oh. Man, the studio exploded. The studio exploded. <laughs> It's called oh, stand up. Yeah. It's called timing, right. boys. It's called timing. The fingers, the fingers oh, to the mouth goodness. while you were saying that is really what did it for me. The, like an Asian, like a scared little Asian, oh, a scared yeah. Asian girl in an That's anime. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Kevin does scare the shit out of me sometimes. He really he does. He should. He uh, Kevin, uh, Stancil's cellmate, uh, that would be Juggy uh, at Juggy Haha, uh, co host of a Sports Mask Collective right here. Uh, trying to keep my guy. hand into the cookie jar tonight. There's a it's very violent in there. Juggy lived with me uh for what five, six years? We've known Juggy Juggy for a couple decades now, right? Oh yeah, just just yes, uh, the three of you knows the stories. Juggy, Stancil, and Aunt Mead uh, have been in a shower together. We have. This That's was right. the, he was the third in me, Mead, and uh the I see what he's doing. Vito, what's your take on this? Let me go ahead and get this out, okay? You are in a rush. There's three guys. You need to get to an Uber in 10 minutes. You gotta. Sh every one of you has to shower because you're going out and meeting girls at a bar. What's the solution? Do you Everybody hop in with the shower. We all, like, we're all guys, so we all take a shower together. Thank you. Jesus, can you please the explain to this set guy you that free. that's fine? Oh my God! Yeah, I'm so totally. happy about that. I do that every day. I, I do that at least twice a week. How do you say? Who do you who are you showering? Yes. Oh my! You live in Canada. That's a, that's a fucking yeah. It's given. totally normal. You're no, not allowed I to leave your house. house. If, yeah. if you needed you to live get in Canada, that. Vito, what do you, you don't even you're not even now. Uh, Phil Walsh. Uh, Phil Walsh chimes in. Says Chrissy interviewed Lisa Lisa Ann today. She hasn't done as much anal as Chad will do in prison. Wow. Hey, so did Chad really steal some shit or something? Yeah, credit cards. Come on. Whoa. That's awesome. Yeah? No, that's great. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Jail? That's awesome. Well, oh, come on. You don't want to wish you don't want to wish that. Yeah, you don't want to wish you will there. No, you I do. do. Just keep talking. No, I do wish it. Okay, go Why? ahead. Why? You you really don't like the guy? I I think he's a fucking dick. You think he was mean to you? No, I think he's a dick to anybody. You're like, scared I, of him. I really, really do. Scared. I think Are you working on a Chad documentary? No. No. I'm not. Chad is innocent, Ken says. All right. No, we'll Chad. go with that. Innocent until proven guilty. This is America, Vito. Kevin is, is always right, too. Kevin Kevin's always, always right. right. That's correct. He By is. the way, Dave Landau right. currently not getting paid because Crowder is uh, demonetized. And wins again. <laughs> oh, he can't pay <laughs> really the rent. Unbelievable. Well said. Hey, man, you guys got a cool show. You really, Thanks. You guys gel nicely together. Yeah, we know. Yeah, gelling each other. Eh, that was going to suck. I wasn't. No, it's a good show. Yeah, I like it. It's really fucking. Well. I was gonna make a gay Something sex like, yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you yeah, like the show. I mean, if you were going out, uh, yeah, for sure, man. Let's. You want to watch the rest of it? And w would you, uh, ski mask? Would you wash my back if I wash Jim's back and Jim wash Juggy's back? And no. that way now there's four guys. four guys. What are you gay? <laughs> yeah, but this, but this is the human three centipede. Guys were just Three guys were just trying to go out and fuck some girls. Four guys. So Four guys gay. gets gay, man. Anywhere. That's a gang. So you suck one dick and all of a sudden you're a fag, right? Is that what you're saying? Sucking dick. Yeah. I'm, I don't like so, this. Yeah, talk. we're talking shit. Yeah, Catholic. we don't like we don't like all this talk. You're talking about blood. You, first you say our show's good. I'm and we Roman gel Catholic. well together. And now you're talking about sucking cock. Just one, Jesus. Yeah, leave the guy be. Does that make you gay? Yeah. Okay, then all right, never mind. All right. What year was it? It was about a week ago. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. That was his name. Juggy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, the tension breaker. All right. I got a tension breaker. <laughs> Ashley, you got a Whoa! chance to ask three questions. Break Shoot. Break. You got three questions. All right. Three trivia questions. And, uh, and that's it. Let's go. Rapid fire. What do you got? Rapid fire questions. Oh, uh, well, first I wanted to congratulate my Twitter Padawan on over 100 followers. Yeah, I broke the ceiling. Yay. I broke it. <laughs> and then I also wanted to show you guys, look at what sh my shirt that came in the mail. Wow, she has a Top Club shirt as well. What? I don't even what? have a Top Club wow. shirt. What? All I these, told you I was sending them out. Girls. 
Do I need bigger tits to get one? No, yours are big enough. I'll send one. I'll send. I'll send one your way. Yeah, I like a shirt that I'm on. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good point. That's You're going to wear a shirt with yourself on it? Oh, yes. I'm a total sociopath. I feel I'm also like you already have. Someone. That would actually okay. be the perfect shirt to go to uh, Casey's. Maybe well, this took a screeching halt. Rapid fire. <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't um, have anything prepared, although just to You said you prepared everyone, a whole game. Prepared. Oh, I did. are we playing that right now? I don't know. Just three rapid work. fire questions. All right. Make no, it one rapid fire question. Oh, I don't. I don't know what to say. I just wanted to show off my shirt. That was ask all. a question to so, Vito. Ask a yeah. Question ask Vito a question. Yeah, a video. Ask Vito a question. <laughs> One word. One word. I, I don't know what to say. Ask him why that dark spot on his camera keeps moving every time his chin does. <laughs> why does that dark spot on your camera keep moving every time your chin does? Don't no. Don't fucking don't don't listen to him, D sweetie. Out of your own heart. Don't. Don't let people put words on your mouth. God. She loves the show. She's wearing a shirt. She's so a big fan. You just you said you like this show. Uncle Vicious. What? What? what any question? Boy, this like, what? Any question? Wow. Oh, um, no, I, I don't. I just wanted to show that my shirt. That was all. Um, no, I'll see you guys awesome. on Sports Mask. And... Bye. All right. <laughs> Thank all right. you, Ashley. We Thank you, you, Ashley. Thank you. Bye. Bye. She was sweet. She's yeah, great. She's, she's a great. good egg. She gets it. She goes with it. We're just having fun. Uh, Kevin says that E-Rock says this show needs more prep. Yeah, apparently that's what he was saying when he was showing the Landau episode at Compound Studio. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you know what I, needs more prep? E-Rock sandwiches. The sad thing is all of our shows get more views than his shows. Which I know. Is, uh, yeah, that's just that. Highly unlistenable. Yeah, I was waiting for for Kevin to say our views uh, whenever he's going through views. Maybe ours were oh, a little he bit likes too high us. to make fun of. Yeah, yeah, well, he he likes the show. He likes the show. He's a, he, yeah, he hates he's the show. A, he's a good epic. He's a good guy. Don't, don't say he's don't say that because then he gets mad. Who needs to That's true. Shit? He's a piece of shit. Fucking garbage. And I'm glad he threatened Sam Morrill. And I'll be right behind him to break Morrill's fucking Jew femur if it comes to it. The I like it how I like it how. I like it how, how uh, you know, a documentary meant to kind of uh, make fun of in ways a career fucking made him spiral even further. I love it when he was like, I'm not going to be nice anymore. He's, he's taking it even further. He didn't watch it with a sense like, you know what, maybe I should fucking, you know, tone it down a bit. He's like, no, I'm walking in, you know, if I see Goldman, I'm punching him right in the fucking face. Can you even reach Goldman's skull? I don't know. It's a big mm. Jew, baby. Yeah, um, big yeah but that's Woo. the whole show. That's what the show's always been. That's what, and that's what other comedians don't do. There's no backbones. It's, ah, we talked about it, and uh, we talked about it, and we're fine now. Um, <laughs> I, hey, Kevin, I listened to Brian McCarthy interview show today, actually. Yes? Um, How close is he getting to sucking off Adam? It was, uh, wasn't the best. Oh, really? Unlistenable? No comment. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't, no I don't, comment I don't, from the wait, album. This is just a question, oh, guys. Shoot. Ski Mask, if you strong. had, and this goes for all three of you guys, if you guys, if a guy did a documentary, and that, uh, uh, the, the guy who did the documentary. Yeah, who did the Postland. documentary that you watched? Uh, Postland. Well, what's his name? Okay, all right. Anyways, I, I wasn't would, convinced you you watched be, it. would you want it to be um, like the same way as it was Kevin's? Or it was would a you comedy watch? documentary, Vito? I yeah. don't know. Like, would you it's not, dude, this? Vito, Vito, it's not that. You're thinking way too far into this. It's not that serious. David Attenborough. Wait, do Kevin you, Brennan went to the, the way that island you... of the Papua New Guinea. <laughs> Sorry, that sucked. Go ahead, Vito. No, but is that is if anybody were to do a documentary, is that the way you'd want to do it? I'd just be happy to make it a documentary. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Right. What do you want your documentary to yeah, be? Yeah, what do you want to be said? Man? I want it to be like... You want it to be uh, amazing, by chance? Yes, I actually do. I actually do. Juggy, you know it. I want it like... You know Juggy's here. Juggy's here is the control. Juggy. I'm just trying to talk, that's all. 
Juggy's here is the control. Juggy does not watch. Do you? You don't watch any. Listen to any podcast, correct? Barely. Not a one. And Barely. he doesn't watch anything. So Juggy is the control group. So if you need a, an opinion, as an that's why. Yeah, and outside. That's why we love you. Juggy because he's not involved in any of this nonsense. I try to be right. as unbiased as possible. So what would you like your documentary to be like? I would. I mean, I would like to have one in general, but like that's a really good question, and that require probably requires some thought. I wouldn't want something done like the description. Oh no, like, thought weird, but <laughs> not thought. <laughs> <laughs> when will you have time to think about it? Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to prep it. Right, the show doesn't have any prep. Oh, um, that's right. off the rip. Uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying though. Like, uh, I don't know, a documentary on me? What an egotistical question. I would mm. have to say. Hopefully didn't you it's set up? Done. A, didn't you set up a roast of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you invite? The neighbors? <laughs> yeah, I actually invited a friend, and he couldn't make it because he was banging his now wife, which is hilarious. He was <laughs> like, that? just uh, I can't say his name, but uh, our good friend across the street. Now, They're Kevin, you know we can't yeah, do that because, drive, uh, yeah. you know, certain co-hosts that you align yourself with love to stir things up and get the jobs called. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he was he was saying about my my affinity for Zelda. I think it was me. What? Me was the only one who actually did a good job at my roast. Oh, oh. Kevin so. Brennan wants to know, is Juggy your real name? Do you want to bother with this story? Um, oh, I mean, oh, yeah. Well, how I got it, it was, yeah, it's a nickname for my school official. Um, it's a yeah, it, has do, it has to do a lot with like uh, slipping on pucks and uh, drinking a lot of beer before a morning practice before school. Athlete. And yeah, my my assistant coach called me Jughead at first. Two weeks later, he was tired of it, and then it got shortened to Juggy, and it's been haunting me ever since. Just like it's MLC is head. haunting Vito, right? Brian. Vito, uh, you look tired. Have you been asleep since the episode? No, not really. I just, I, I, I just, I've been, I know I've been sick. Sick. You don't stomach. sound sick. I'm I mean, honestly, I've been sick. Just the yeah, anxiety of the show. And the yeah. I don't know what it is, but I just been. It's not COVID or anything like that. But it's just stressed I, out. I don't know. Just feeling like shit. I have not been sleeping. Sounds like Chad got the best of you. No, that's the thing. I wasn't ready or whatever. So, uh, anyways, it was just, uh, you know. What did you do immediately following the appearance? I punched myself in the balls until I passed out. <laughs> so you did sleep? A little bit, if you call it that. So you're lying. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you this man can't be trusted. He's a fraud. Vito, are you a fraud? <laughs> yes. Are you a fraud and a phony or a phony and a fraud? A phony and a fraud. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say, I, Vito, am a phony-ass fraud. No, I'm not going to start. What do you want me to do? Start grabbing, like, fucking take off my shirt and start rubbing shit on my hand like a fucking moron? No, let's see those swollen balls. You apparently punched yourself in them <laughs> until you fell asleep. I took blue chews and I got fat nuts. I want to see what happens if you punch yourself in them. <laughs> my dick was regular. My nuts got fat. <laughs> what do you think? Vito, your thoughts? Nothing. I want to see his balls first before I show those, mine. Don't tempt me. Oh no, this is on YouTube. Um, yeah. What's behind? Are those towels up there? No, that's a that's seashells. Yeah. What are you doing with seashells Seashell. above you? Are you some kind of pirate? No. It's like two women bent over, facing away from each other. Is that the Kappa logo? Holy shit, that is weird. Say that again. It it's looks like, like two movies. women bent over, facing away from each other. You know what? This one. Ass. Really? Ass. This one. Yeah, hold the hole. That's a li that's a lion. Ooh. And that's a, a seashell. Okay. A conch. Not a conch. 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 Oh, a conch. That is a type of seashell. That's yeah. what those fucking uh, dumb kids on that island fought over in Lord of the Flies. I saw it on a English documentary major. once. Weren't you in that show? The seashell. I was piggy. Anyway. A conch. And it's is conch, it my turn? By the way, it's conch, you fucking idiot. It does. Uh oh, it's... what's this? Anything about Alex Albert's arrest on Saturday? Albert's, you're not an English major. Alex Engelmer, eh, Jesus, neither. I can't. I'm not a speaking major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make Alex... fun of me, there, fucky. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Engelbert challenged me to gymnastics off, and I accepted the challenge. There will be there will be video this summer. 
coming live to somewhere. There we go. In the world. Gymnastics off. I took gymnastics when I was a boy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not gay. Not gay. Actually, I am gay. Who cares? Yeah. Video, are you gay? No. Okay. Why? Why did you do it? Racist. What, what did you hear? I heard that you're gay. Well, I'm not. Did you took a shower Where, before? You said that, Chad. No, you said it because you said you sucked a cock last week. No, that was that was a joke. Oh, went over yeah, my head, Chad. That, that was that, <laughs> that was a joke, guys. Chad told me that you're gay. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, the uh, do, do you, can can I say something? Say whatever you want. The floor's open, Vito. No worry. Right, okay. Kevin was right throwing him. I really did. Yeah. Fuck. So, um, so Chad does another podcast. I'm yeah, serious. it's called Sit Down Zumok, where he sits down in traffic, apparently. And if, if only for real, <laughs> listen to it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to listen to it. Tell me, no, is it he a has a podcast called Sit Down Zumok. Yes, correct. Okay. You could and, and join his Patreon. It, it's a it, free podcast. Like, is it any good? No. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I like that. You tell me. I mean, you think really about don't it. like Chad. You really got. Pro you really. Are yeah, wrong. you're really angry. Do you like I don't Chad? Really care. I, mean, like I don't. I, I, at the end of the day, I really don't care. That's the whole thing. Like I could. Yeah. If I saw just, tomorrow, I would just say, "What's up?" Like I don't care if he has a problem with me. I, I just don't give a fuck about anything. I have real life shit. I don't give a fuck. But you seem like you're very. Yeah, you see. Very yeah, you troubled. seem highly, highly you know, stressed out unstable. about this. You seem unhinged since your MLC right. appearance. To be honest, I'm kind of glad you're north of the border. I kind of feel a little bit more safe. Guys, fat balls. No, yeah. I just I don't know. Poncho. Just something about him just seems I don't know. Just I don't know how to describe Maybe it. Maybe you should like go a, down to Florida. Give him an old what for? Yeah. He just did he freeze? Did we not have to kick him off? Did he kick himself that makes off? It easy. Wow! Fuck yeah! We didn't even have to kick him off. Yes, buddy PNG. This veto guy is definitely unhinged. That's right. Indifferent is a worthy position. You're right. No, he's moving he's again. Oh fuck! Yeah. He's back. He's back. He's back. Shh, shh, shh. You're welcome. No, back. he just seems like a type of guy. Did you just that... do some blow. No, he just seems like the type of guy that again. unless he could get something off of you, you're talking a lot faster than you were before it froze. That's the only way. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Wow. I heard Chad Zumach did an Irish guy show that was such a bad interview it has to be cut down to around 25 minutes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he was talking about that before he came on. Who? Chad. He what said did he, he say what did he say about it? He said yeah, he, that's dish. he said he couldn't hear he couldn't understand uh, I know who he's talking about. It's What's his, his name? What's the guy's name? I don't know his name, it's but... Hugh, it's Hugh something, right? Yeah. I don't know, but he has a very thick Irish accent. Uh -huh. and, uh, Do you Chad, like the guy? Chad just... No, I like the guy. He's. he's I think a lot he's, of props. I think. I think I like anybody that's uh, passionate, and he seemed like a very passionate person. So mm -hmm. he goes after people. Uh, he does great interviews, but he's very hard to understand because he has a very, very thick... Irish well, accent. The filthy it's Europeans thick, right. are mostly really worthless at the end of the day. The European right. Union is a dredge on the world. So the now did, did Chad say that he had a good time on this Irish person's show? He said he couldn't understand him. Okay. Racist. That's racist. Yeah, that's racist. I think that might be an excuse for being a bad interview and it have to be cut down to 25 minutes because he knows it's going to be bad. Would you say that too? Yeah, I hate Chad. You what know are you that. looking at on your screen? Your yeah, what the fuck back. are you reading, dude? I'm looking at you guys. Like, oh, they're how big like, is your screen? Should I grab sunglasses? Wait, this is yeah, or some kind of prop to put on your face. Yeah, why don't you put what a mask else? over it? Jim, come on, put a paper, Pillow put case. a plastic bag over it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing it tonight, pal. What are we not doing? I'm not Chad. I'm the admiral. I'm no captain. I, I, I command the captains. Nobody can stop the admiral. That is correct. Aye, aye. And such. Any other thoughts, Vito? Uh, What's going on with your show? Anything good? Nothing. I just try and get people on. I enjoy. There was tons of people that said really nice things. That was very cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, name five. 
I, I can't go on it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go on it. But no, there was a couple of really nice people had nice things to say. I think yeah. his his name's Smokey Brooks. Uh, some Dave guy. Feldman? No, Gil Bravo. Gil oh, Bravo, yeah. good egg. Jim Stansel. That's me. That's a good egg, that guy. Then there's Eye in the Sky. Andrew no. Kempy, Matty Arp. Yeah, Chuck yeah. Man Joan, Matty there's... Arp. What's his I'm name? gonna go through every Patreon member. I know every single one of them. Dyke in the woods. I can't say this no. guy's T. I. Curry. Tin K D K Dino. K Dino. Dino. Good egg. K Dino's a good egg. He's a yeah, righteous he's patriot. Guy. So, are you just going to read Twitter names? Yeah, you're just reading. No, you're just going to read to us? Why don't you read us a story, uh, Dr. Seuss or something? So, no, we can't do that. We'll get thrown right. on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Don't be but he's Canadian. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Juggy, say something for fuck's sake. Say something. <clears throat> what do you want me to say? Call him gay. I don't know. That's what I. That's what I mean. Like I'm in the same boat as you. Juggy, would you hang out with oh. Vito if you if you met Vito at a bar? Would you hang out with him, or would you shy you saw the away? Picture him at those celebrities. I in that jacket. I would love to hang out with him. To be quite honest, that is okay. a Wisconsin fresh. Is what I like you know to call. I, mean? uh -huh. I like Juggy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should have him on your show. I. You know what? If he says, uh, "Hey, I, I would love to have Juggy on." Hey, man, I'll talk to anybody. Hey, uh, that is. Hey, I, I would what love to be it, on. What are, you, what are you whispering about there? Say it again. Hey, I'd love to be on. He said he'd love to be on your show. Fuck. All right. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> touche, touche. Yeah, that was nice. Whenever you're free, <laughs> Juggy. Um, this guy is like the weirdo that hangs out at the library and plays games <laughs> on the free computer. Yo, math munchers, let's go. Number munchers. Yeah, number munchers, math Wait, munchers. Is that about me? Oregon yeah, that's Trail. about you. You're the guest. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, These public libraries? I look like the weirdo? Are you fucking kidding me? There's a guy wearing this <laughs> There's a fucking dude there. I don't know what you want me to say. This is what the fans are saying. And We're not saying this. Out. And then you got the other guy that looks like uh, d uh, one of the Dudley boys. Get the oh, tables. Wow. He called uh, me Devon. The one with I the hair. Bubba. No, I'm the one with the hair. He's the one with the hair. Devon. Let what me see that tattoo. Yeah, Dance I look like the black one. Tattoo. Yeah, that's good. I could see it perfectly. Looks like a fucked up birthmark. Let that's what see. your chin looks like. It's a butt chin, man. Yeah, do you have to wipe and, it? And if you're going to make fun of it, call me Ray, Ray DeVito. No, <laughs> Ray's a good friend. <laughs> Holy shit, Ray has the same chin, doesn't he? Yeah, Ray Ray, Ray looks a lot similar to Vito. Yeah, it, no, it's, it is weird. Yeah. Better looking Wait, Vito, fucking, right? Vito. Oh, no, that was Ray that made $300 doing Red Bar. Yeah, that's right. what I mean. Like, that pissed me off. Why? Yeah, you're real pissed off. Because no it should have been my money. The what, else are you, what else are you mad about? The guy was... The guy thought I was... For the long, you know, you know what's hilarious? Mass, do you not know about this? I do, I do, I, I do know. Okay, about so this. twice okay. he interviewed Ray, and no, he once interviewed Ray, and then the second time he saw a video with Kevin and Ray, and he said, "Look, it's the amazing Vito." Yeah, it's just, it's just like, no, no, man, not even close. Let me see that tattoo, though, Jim. He already showed the tattoo. Yeah, I can, I can tell what it was. It's. Well, I mean, what are we doing here? Yeah, what are we doing? That is really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He just wanted to see your chest. That, that is nice, man. What are you doing with your hands over there, Vito? Massaging those swollen Nothing. nuts. You massaging your nuts right now? Looking at Jim. Are you feeling Jim? all right? Well, so going forward, Vito, where are you at? Are you, uh, will you listen to MLC? Are you going to, uh, are you like, yeah, I Are love you Kevin. You know, like, I, Are you scared listen, of Chad? I, I'm, I, I've been a, a fan down? of his for the longest time. Just, oh, you know, man. me personally, I love the guy, you know? Did you watch uh, the, the Kevin Brennan documentary? Yes. Did you see it? Yeah. Did, what did you, you see the... Huh? I, I thought it was great. You did, eh? What did you think yeah. of it? What did you think of it? What did you think of the documentary? You know, 
It was all right, I guess. That was your favorite part. It was all right. And what was your favorite part? The the part I missed. The part with Bill Burr? It was like uh, uh, Bill Berg. Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Yeah. See, what happened was is with... (laughs) What confused me was no 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 we this, no. this is this is no, what, no, no. terrible this is what screwed me up about the documentary over here when Kevin Brennan did the over where in, in Canada him, oh. him Berg did a uh, only white show and yeah was, white guys, white guys matter. matter white guys mm. matter yes and it, and that's what I thought that's what they were talking about when I when they when it got cut off there. So I was like, now, well, Vito, that was so many years ago. You obviously haven't been keeping up with what's going on. No, but I thought that was going to be in the document. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you thought. You should have, you should have brushed up be... on your knowledge. If you knew you were going to go on a show. Right. That's what I thought they were talking about when that's, yeah, uh, but you're uh, wrong. Sounds you're like wrong. you didn't do your right. show prep. Yeah. You didn't do your show prep. Vito. No, I did. Why? I did do my show. Prep. No, you said you were sick. <laughs> You sick to your stomach after that show. Yeah, you, you sick to your stomach from your nerves? Are you stressed out a little bit? No, I wasn't. I wasn't you stressed, stressed out about. No, so just why are you picking on me, dude? Dude, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what what it is with you. You can't get it together. You, you knew you were coming on this show. You knew we were going to be talking about the Kevin Brennan documentary, and you still couldn't get it together. Yeah, I guess. Uh huh. <laughs> well, what thanks, Dancel. Should we get rid of this guy? Uh, I may have to, yeah. I what mean, are you talking about? You're gonna get rid of me? Yeah, we, we gotta get, yeah, Wait exactly. Minute, what we're you talking. Guys yeah, you're not answering Dude, we, no, we gave no, you 52 Kevin minutes and you're giving us nothing. What are you, what are you, what are you right, trying to pay us? Every time I talk, what are you doing? You're trying to pay us to keep you on? Yes, <laughs> I will totally fucking pay you guys. We don't, we don't want what the do money. In there? We're what good. What do they have up there? Shekels? No, we got, yeah, we do. Yeah, all right. Get him out of here. It's, uh, All right, Vito. It's been good. We love, we'll see you next time. This motherfucker. Is he writing a check? Oh, and he's freezing it. Get him the fuck get out the of fuck here. Get the fuck out of here. Get kicked off the show. Woo. I still like to be on his show. I think you're going to be on his show. I yeah, I think you'll show. still be on his show. He'll, uh, yeah. maybe he'll get some sleep after that one. Boy, kicked geez, off that two guy, co- He doesn't seem Woo. like he's doing well. I got to brush up on my con documentaries. You know, I got to know. No, don't, wor- don't worry, Juggy. Don't worry. You know, if you're not brushed up on the knowledge, just don't talk about it. You know, that's why I didn't say a word throughout that whole thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're more than you're more than welcome to say whatever you want. Yeah. yeah now about this. Br- now about this brown out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead, ask away. I love talking about drinking journeys. <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> Now, I think you did say it, and it wasn't Victor. I can't remember which one said it, but the guy who browns out isn't as bad as the people who don't brown out and say what they, you know, uh, about the person who does, right? I said that totally well, fucked it, up because whatever. No, it's, uh, it, there's just a little bit of confusion there. If you're browning out, that means that you drink to a point where you're almost about to black out. So if you're browning out, sometimes your memory might be a little askewed. So to me, it's the amount of drinking that one can handle. And then there's that, uh-huh. those three stages. It's getting to that brownout because you can remember everything when you're a little drunk, when you're a little buzzed. When you're right. browning out, your memory kind of gets a little messed up. Some people like that. I'm not a big fan anymore because of a certain age. But like blackout is where I don't want to be anymore. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you like so, the yeah. brownout. You like when the lights flicker. Every once in a while, every once in a while. I like that. Only I, when it's appropriate. Like if I have nothing to do the next day, maybe a day you and a brown half. out on Friday night or whatever night? Nope. I actually remembered everything. I was the driver, actually, to be quite honest. I was wow. I offered to drive. Oh, no. no, I got hammered. Yeah. No, I didn't uh, no, I didn't get browned out. I just got really drunk. <laughs> I remembered everything. I had a lot of uh lagging. Oh, the lagging. Oh boy, I'm a little too close to you. No, no, no we're all right. Good log and need is let me tell you, it was just brings back the memory, Casey's. Look at you boys getting awfully close yeah, to each we other. Wrap this up and hit the show. <laughs> Before we do, uh, no, let's, let's, just, let's talk. I like let's talk hat. about it a little bit. What happened uh, Saturday night? How was the show? I I uh, had to miss out, unfortunately. Oh yeah, no, yeah. me too. Me uh, too. Um. Yeah, it was great. Pretty much went off without a hitch this time. Thankfully, wired mics, not fucking uh, yeah. Even air even mics, Florentine said the sound wanted. was good. Yeah, yeah. So I appreciate uh, appreciate Florentine uh, 
he was pretty much said as nice things as you're going to be able to say about that place in the basement with the low ceilings. Uh, Florentine was fucking great. Some woman made the mistake of uh, oh boy. scoffing at uh, his abortion joke. Really? Um, and you could, uh, oh, and then man. it went from there. Uh, you know, I'm not going to give it, but uh, so that was fucking great. Love seeing him in his element, just ripping people apart. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Let me get this straight. Somebody actually got upset at a joke. So that... this was, at, it's at the Italian American, the St. Lawrence Society. It's like an Italian club. Okay. And they now, had now, a. Florentine closed the show, right? Of course. So I do have to I do have to mention this. The lady made it through Gino's entire set without scoffing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Interesting. Okay. That was the interesting part about it. Just wanted to make that point clear. (laughs) I think what Florentine figured out is that her daughter was there and it seemed like her daughter recently had an abortion. (laughs) How did he figure that? He's a that's that's Oh oh, that's your daughter. Wait, uh, that's your daughter. Maybe she was wearing a sideways (laughs) maybe she was wearing a sideways uh, flat bill hat, if you know what I mean. Nah, but he was hilarious. Yeah, I mean what did he say? He was like, Yeah. Uh, ma'am, it's a joke. My son is ten. He's not dead. <laughs> it was. It's a joke. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a, that's yeah. A it was a Florentine too. Oh, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, I, um, oh, yeah, it was a good show. Fucking Gino got hammered uh, towards the end, but he did his thing. Um, yeah, I did see photos of uh, a fucking rock star, so he always grudges. He doesn't give a fuck. Awesome. Um, any other surprises or just there was a three? surprise guy at the end. I think James Crowley was his name. I want to uh, give him credit. Uh, listen, but he came on like after Florentine, like while they were like the, basically a check spot, I guess they're cleaning up. But like half the people were kind of talking during the set. It was almost like a bonus set. He just I don't know. I don't know what was going on, but. Um, it was, like, they it were was just dry. trying to do it to close out the show, get people to kind of wander then he out the, the door. Stage. He broke the Who'd... stage because one of his jokes was like running around and stomping on the stage, and he went through the stage. Yeah. Wow! Thankfully, he didn't run through a, a TV. I heard that one doesn't go over well. Oh man! Yeah, right. So yeah, it was good. It was good, man. Uh, I don't know. Jim Stance was gay, dead on, dead and on. I'm a woman. So yeah. I'm really a lesbian. Now summer's right around the corner. Are you going to lose 14 times two pounds before it starts getting nice and hot outside? You're going to have that beach yeah, bod. Absolutely. Yeah, I still got chase well, around the hot conch. It's only been uh, <laughs> it's only been about two months. I've lost fourteen pounds. We're shooting for Memorial Day, which is basically two months. So if I can get to two hundred by then, um, I'll be knee deep in Smokey's asshole or whatever she'll let me near. Because Jesus Christ, that girl is hot. Um, there you go. There you shout go. out She's... Smokey Brooks for modeling our shirt. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm keeping going. We're bringing back old stance. We're bringing back the beautiful boy. We're going to resurrect nice. him from the dead. And one day, one day, I will one again have sex with a woman. One wow. day. Wow, wow, wow. Can we film Not it? One Can we do it live on the show? Look, I've never filmed sex. Afternoon Actually, delight. I did once, but then I felt bad and deleted it. Was it VHS? <laughs> yeah, it was a Super 8. <laughs> and it was my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you got rid of it, or did you sell it in a garage? Stories so? from the friends next door. They never told. <laughs> yeah, TGIF was playing in the background. And <laughs> yeah. Uncle Ernie was diddling me all around. Didn't that happen to somebody? Like uh, someone Bill famous, Cox. their their Hulk Hogan. their sex tape got out because they sold it in a garage sale, and somebody bought it. Is that, it's, that it's rings a, a bell, but not a garage sale, also... but Hulk Hogan was involved in a sex scandal where like a, well, you... <laughs> a, allegedly a friend of his made a ton of money off of it. And then so did he. And he also says some choice words in that uh, sex tape, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Worse He's than choice, uh, worse than Mel Gibson. Uh, close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my type of sex tape. I jack off to that clip all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Couple, burgers. yeah couple double Mel letters Gibson. in the middle. And, an, and some R's at the end. <laughs> Something Kumia would love. T.I. Oh, oh, my God. Her. Kumia must love the Hogan sex day. I know. He probably... He he probably to <laughs> my God. He has it on his TiVo. Listen to it at the gym. Are you guys uh, You guys doing a sports mask this, this Sports week? mask. We're doing... We actually... Uh, uh, we got a special tomorrow. It's yeah. opening day. We're opening going to... Opening day gonna, for the Mets. Look at that logo. So we're Look sh- at that logo and know we're... I know. No we're I know. We got to get a new logo made. <laughs> got to get a new um, logo made. But yeah, tomorrow, right. look for it around 6. We're going to record, and then we're going to go to our local haunt and watch the Mets uh, season opener at 7. So it'll be a, a joyous day. Not a home opener, but Mets opener. It's going to be a homo opener once we get to the bar. <laughs> hey! You guys are going to have Bobo on by chance? 
<laughs> no, I've been in communicate with Bobo. We are going to go to a game with me, Bobo, and Stevie Lou and Excuse Mead. So hell yeah, that's going to be fun. For us. fun. Obviously, that will be documented. But um, yes, I'm sure there'll be some nice so yeah, content sports mass, out of that. Sports mass tomorrow. Sick. We'll go from All there, right. baby. What have we been doing? One show a week? We need to get more. Maybe we'll do one uh, Friday or something. I I don't really have a life. I just... Uh, Me either. Get around, do random drugs here and there. Yeah, whatever you can find, get your hands on. Whatever keeps you out of the drive through stencil. Whatever keeps... I, I've been having McDonald's once a week and still lost 14 pounds, folks. It's all about counting your calories, folks, especially you fat girls. Nobody likes fat girls. You can be a fat guy. Nobody likes a fat girl. I actually right. like thick girls. I don't like fat girls. So count yeah. your calories. Stancil tip of the week. Count your calories. Uh, I recommend one or two meals a day. <laughs> and um, I'm gay. I'm gay, too. And we'll leave Thanks, it at folks. that. Juggy, cool. uh, any last words? What do you got to say? I, I feel like you didn't get to talk a lot, maybe as much as you wanted to on this podcast. Uh, I what was are lost when he was on. I have no idea what you guys were up it, to. We and all then were. I finally realized. We were both lost, too. So I'm don't feel bad. No, that's all right. <laughs> Nah, man, kid, kid, keep on checking me out at Juggy Ha Ha and uh, Juggy Zero One Zero on the Twitch, and uh, yeah, man, we got a sports mask coming. It's gonna be super exciting. We're gonna bring it all back and watch the Mets afterwards. So the juices will be flowing, everybody. Oh so yeah, I hope you're there to watch it and catch it. Flow with us. Flow. What do you have, Ski? Got a couple of conches to show us. I got two conches, two big conches. No, all the video episodes are still going up on Patreon.com/SkiMaskMedia. Uh, and I think we're going to aim to keep it that way. I like uh, audio is always free. Uh, you know that our Patreon has continued to go up ever since uh, the Chad Zumach freak out. Is it? I haven't even yeah. checked because yep. I'm not. Gay Numbers like are climbing. It. Numbers are climbing. Love it. Love it. Love you guys. Love everybody that watches. Just Shout out having to fit fun. Just keep having fun here. Shout out to Fit Mask. Chick will be yeah. coming back. I know she's busy with the school stuff. We're keeping it alive, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, It'll be popular. back. Oh, Here's before we go, I actually I hung out with one of our guests uh, over the weekend. I heard about that. How was, was it? Very nice. Cool. Uh, the, it was the, the prenatal and postnatal uh, Christine Torre. You kick her in the stomach? No, no, no. That's, she <laughs> says that's the no-no if you've seen the, the Fit Mask podcast. <laughs> what, joking about domestic abuse? Uh, yeah, we were kind of having some laughs about like what women do. Um, <laughs> You know, before the oldest after form pregnancy. of abortion. Yeah. Coat oh, hanger. Yeah. Oh, uh, right, stairs. Just yeah. Having a little, like, giving them a little whoopsie day down the second floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you have to talk them into you've actually fell down the stairs. Right. And right. It's because right. you didn't cook dinner. It, <sighs> then you have to teach them how to patch the drywall that they hit after falling down the stairs, correct? That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. You don't want to have to do that shit yourself. You're fucking tired. You've been working all day, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. she didn't talk about any of that, but we're going to bring her back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hope she doesn't watch this. No, she had a blast. Now, it was, it was, it was now a Juggy, I did, I did forget to ask you this. You did say COVID restrictions are BS on the last Sports Mask uh, episode. Does this mean that you're currently not terrified of COVID anymore? Not currently. Not currently. Uh, especially with the vaccines and stuff coming out. Um, it's a, it's going to be a different world. And I, I just, I love, I don't get it. I don't, like, even when, like, with the vaccines being handed out, people are still, like, asking other people to put masks on now i'm starting to lean over why to me why why now lean so. right over here so, yeah, yeah fuck so, if I you mean, wear a mask again, you I, must be gay yeah like if you haven't gotten your vaccines if you're 16 or whatever the mask added because they're the youngest or whatever like I, I get it but man after that okay what is herd immunity can we finally be done over i can't and even with comment because yeah. we're at an hour 10 and We'll be here for two hours if I start. I'm not, I can't even start. No, I can't. Do another stencil rant. Uh, oh, actually, oh, thank you. Thank you. you. Actually, fuck, I wrote that down. I forgot to say it there. It is definitely, I like I said from the beginning, these are p the purest form. They're going to come when the mood hits. Uh, there you I go. Have, I have notes on multiple subjects I've been taking. It's all just a matter of having one of those days. So, yeah. Um, I foresee it coming soon, folks. But that isn't like a one and done. I meant what I said. They're only going to come out when it's real. And believe yeah, me, I got a couple that, ones that, in the uh, docket. That pilot video has gotten some some good views, good great reaction. People love the hate. They they love the anger. You know because well, it's it, real. They this can, isn't they, yeah, exactly. They can resonate with it. It's not fucking. Yeah, it's yeah, not this fake. Is my life. I have legitimate anger issues ever since I was a boy, and now I'm putting it to good use by screaming it and putting it on the internet which i'm sure is a healthy thing to do <laughs> there so stay tuned see no, that I got some coming up. Yeah, constant constant content constantly being released 
All right. There's all kinds of fucking episodes coming out. So stay tuned. We'll have some more shit coming out this year. And uh, I'll see you boys soon. We'll have to fucking party. Have a good time. I would like that. Absolutely. I like yeah. that. If anything else, I need my mics back. <laughs> yeah, I have those right here. <laughs> In my ass. You sound great. Right.